So Clubatic came from, um, actually it was uh, in response to Typhoon Yolanda that happened, that hit the island of Leyte in the Philippines. And me and my sister and a few of other um, Filipinos that were living in Sydney at the time decided to uh, put together a fundraiser with Justin. And the fundraiser kind of turned out to be a quite like a pageantry night. So we named it Club Arte. Um, and I guess in terms of thinking about sisterhood and that kind of um, relationship that I had with the community in Taklaban, um, we decided to call it Ate because Ate means big sister. A lot of relationships were built through that space and at the same time we started to get invited into more places like the um, Asia Pacific Triennial and that these places became uh, alternative ways to tell our community story. So we started to make this work ex nil along, um, which started to profile uh, narratives within our community, both um, in Sydney and the Philippines. Um, and, and I guess over the last five years, it's just kind of grown over time um, to, to be this meeting of the collective live event space and these visual art kind of uh, body of work. Um, so what we will do at NGAs um, actually a, a kind of combination of these practices. Um, as an individual, like I guess um, our bodies and my body is such a pol politicized thing at the moment that it feels like just living is a is a type of activism. drive to create is I think a deeply ancestral drive. It comes from understanding that art practice sits alongside cultural practice and that um, continuing being the latest models of our culture or the latest ancestors of our culture means that we need to continue to create works that um, speak to our experiences of the now and the present. Mm -hmm.